in machine interface? Do you see that level of interface? First of all, uh, the glass dream has never gone away, right? I, I think we are working very hard on it. In fact, there were many things which we worked on which quite didn't work because AI wasn't fully there, right? But now that you truly have, uh, you know, seamless AI with intuitive interfaces for people, be it voice, gestures, vision, et cetera, the multimodality of AI, I, Google Glass is going to be back and I think it's going to be great. Um, uh, and your question was, sorry, I started thinking about Google Glass now. I just need to flick back on your brain machine interface. I mean, brain machine it makes a lot of sense to me, right? I, I, think, I think what Elon and team are doing with Neuralink is super inspiring. When you see the examples, again, you know, in technology, people who have real disabilities and, and people being able to communicate again, et cetera, you know, some of the most moving things I see, right? So I think, I think it's a it's, duke. It's totally incredible. Here at the conference, we even had Eddie Chang from UCSF who has this amazing new brain machine interface company, Echo Neuro. We even had Brian Johnson who had a brain machine interface company. It was like multiple brain machines. This, this may be TMI, but uh, you know, I've been under anesthesia and Eddie Chang operated on me. So for oh, what it's wow. worth, yeah. So he's a- I didn't know that. <laughs> so he's a phenomenal- Great sur A great surgeon. He's a phenomenal neurosurgeon. I'm, I'm perfectly fine, but <laughs> he's, a, he's a phenomenal uh, yeah. neurosurgeon. And so, yeah, one of the be best around in the world. Very good.